But hey, man, you know, if you want to support this podcast, mm-hmm. how about let's talk about that? Possible. Do it. So one good way and support. This is uh, well, okay. This is what it is. Origin, right? Origin, the brand. OriginMain.com. That's a website. They got a lot of cool stuff. One of the cool items, actually, there's a bunch, are geese for jujitsu. I remember back when, um, kind of when we first started this thing. Mm-hmm. That's that would be the main question about jujitsu is oh, what kind of yeah, gi. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh yeah, there's these, and I I give them the, the the three, the top. Actually, there was there's four of them, and it was shortly after where you recommended this these origin ones. Mm-hmm. And then when I went there, I was like, oh shoot, this is kind of expensive. I don't know, you know. But then the, I just looked at the one that was like the, it was like the first one I saw, mm-hmm. but. There are many varying prices of geese, and they're all good, by the way. I know this because I have some. <laughs> Nonetheless, if you're still wondering what kind of ghee to get, origin ghee, 100%. You have um, options, you know, as far as pricing and stuff like that, if you want the deluxe one versus the more basic one, but they're all dope. And here's the thing about them. They're all made in America. And not in the sense where they're just kind of assembled in America, but so you know the materials are sourced somewhere else. The materials are sourced. Would you call them sourced? Yeah. I guess the raw material. The raw material are comes sourced. from Tennessee, I would yeah, say. South Carolina, South somewhere, Carolina, somewhere here, America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that America. Boom, brought over to Maine, assembled. Loom, or what? Not loom. Loom. Yeah, that's not a verb, right? Yeah, woven on a loom, boom, into this outstanding material, moisture, what do you call it, wicking, wicking, yeah. right? That's when it, it kind of like helps yeah. with moisture. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know all this, by the way. I'm like being educated on it. And there's yeah. a lot to know, by the way. Um, and I, antimicrobial, that's a big deal. Anyway, origin mean. Dot com. That's where you get cool stuff. There's other stuff too, like rash guards and even like clothes, regular clothes, athletic wear. It's dope. Anyway, all made Amer- in America. Boom. Also, for some legitimate fitness gear, on it. Dot com slash Jocko. I just got the. I know I'm into kettlebells. I know I said that before. I'm gonna say it again. W- what is yours? What is your heaviest kettlebell? The one you have? Forty kilograms. Right. So it's eighty-eight pounds. Mm-hmm. Dang. Mine's 90, well, by I the way. T- I have two of them. Oh. <laughs> do you only have one? Or do you only have one? I only have one oh. currently. Well, all, right. all right. Well, shoot. I guess, you know, it's clear what I got to do. Maybe I'll get another one. Step it up. But, um, shoot, who was I talking to about it? Oh, yeah, Morgan. You know Morgan. Yeah. Right, bro. We're, talk- we're talking about kettlebells. Morgan's, Morgan's feeling strong. I told him that yesterday. Yeah. Not, not just because that's. It's kind of a insult in jujitsu. Yes. Right? To yeah. say like, hey, you feel really strong. It's an right? insult. It's an insult. Yeah. But I, I made it perfectly clear yesterday. I was like, hey, you feel jujitsu strong. I yeah. said, it's not I'm not trying to say you feel strong like, right. hey, you're a meat you're a meathead. Right. But you feel strong in a positive way because and I said, here's the deal. If it was just you being strong, then five years ago. When I started training with you, I'd be like, oh, you feel strong. I didn't right. say it then because you didn't feel strong. Yeah. You feel strong now that your jiu-jitsu is getting, yeah. getting yeah. better and and you're getting more skills. Well, uh, yeah, I feel like we got to ter- come up with a different expression or maybe just a modified expression because some people, yeah, like they'll people tell me I'm strong or whatever. And after a while, I was like, wait, I felt the same thing that you feel. Yeah. One time I told you, like, you're strong I thought it was kind of maybe subconsciously. I thought it was kind of established that okay, look, you're really good at jujitsu. You know, I yeah. thought that was kind of a given. So if I were to tell you you're strong, oh. it'd be kind of like did I like you know, rebut you? Yeah. Was I like, oh yeah? On. I was like, oh, you're I like, no, just... my technique. You're like, no, my technique. I was like, yeah, no, no, I know that. I know your technique is outstanding. God, I got but defensive. Yeah, a huh? little bit, not in an angry way or nothing like that. But that's but, yeah. pretty funny, actually. So there I'm surprised be... I wasn't a a little bit more sarcastic about it. See, okay, and which you brings know, me to I, my I'm point. surprised I didn't say, Yeah, I'm glad I'm so strong. Yeah, that I can just you know what I say you like when that. people say it, and I know people don't mean it, I know they don't mean that. You know what, what, how we take it mm-hmm. kind of like you're strong, it's, yeah, yeah, it's no. your, your physical strength, not your jujitsu technique. That's right. what, what we take it as, yeah, you yeah. know, and they're just throwing it in like how I, essentially how I did with you is kind of like, Look, you're better than jujitsu than me. You you beat me up all the time, but in addition on to top that, of that, <laughs> you're pretty strong too. Yeah, I that's 
probably what people are saying most of the time. But so when people would be like, dang, you're strong. You're great. And you, when they say you're strong, I say, yeah, I lift a lot of weights. Yeah. So it kind of gives them the impression kind of like, yeah, my weightlifting basically beats your jujitsu kind of thing. Oh. And that's a more of an insult, you know, kind of thing. But oh, it's it's a joke, really. Yeah. You know? uh, nonetheless. So, yes, Morgan, he's strong. Jiu-jitsu strong. strong. Jiu-jitsu, Jiu-jitsu strong. strong. Yeah. So his technique is strong. So that means his technique is getting better, and it and it reveals. Right. His it can deliver the strength in the proper way. Yeah. Yes. Good job, Morgan. But we were talking about kettlebells. Yeah. And he was like, "Bro, kettlebells are hard." So I started to feel kind of good because I got this ninety-pound one, and I was like, Shh. "I lifted it up, and you know, okay, you know this, the one hand, boom, clean, mm. what do you, clean press. Is there a, if a you name use your for that? legs." If you use your legs to snap it up there a little bit, yes, that's the clean and jerk. Okay, even one hand. If you just do, if you don't use any legs and you just power it up smoothly, that's a press. Okay, so mine was clean and jerk. I tried yeah. to use the whole kind of body, or whatever. So my met cons I do when I got the werewolf ones; those are like sixty-two pounds. I do two at a time. Boom, boom. Okay, easy. And you do reps. You know, it's a whole yeah. thing. So I got the the gorilla one, seventy-two pounds. And mm-hmm. I could do that one just as you get strong, you know. Mm-hmm. So I get the ninety pound one. And I'm like, I only got one, two. So I don't know. Do you think two at one time is easier because of the balance, no. right? No, it's no. not easier. Just, I mean, you're using more energy for sure. But as yeah. far as like no. doing the balance, I no, feel like not easier. Yeah. Okay. Well, so one is easier doing one. One is for sure easier. Oh, okay. Good. Well. Okay. Gotcha. So I got one big foot that's ninety pounds, and I lifted that up. I was like, man, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> Not ready for that and so it was like maybe two three days later i was like well i gotta try that's the only you know i got the 72 pound one i can do that you know a bunch of times actually but so i just warmed up a bunch and just first time i did it like i straight up failed i couldn't do it and i was like all right all right i know how it feels now and all this stuff and then then i could do it boom both so both you're good sides. With both boom them. yeah well, that's good solid i'm glad we all know that now yep <laughs> Same. hey got, you know it's relevant <laughs> Just saying, actually, which is actually what makes kettlebells kind of fun to do is because it does require legitimate technique. Yeah. Like you can't say like it's hard. It's like a dumbbell or a barbell or a machine. Well, if you're doing barbell snatches, it takes a hell of a lot of technique. And that's really the spectrum, you know. So if you go like kettlebell and dumb because dumbbells are straight up balanced. I mean, they're not, they're not like a, but they have a handle, both sides of the handle, equal amount of weight, you know, boom, you just have to balance your body. And then after you get that balance down, it's pretty easy. Barbell even less because you don't have two sides got to be balanced. It's just one long thing. And then two sides of that is balanced. Then you go machine. You don't even need balance. You just need the strength to push. So it's that spectrum. So the kettlebell is way on this side of the spectrum where it kind of, there's the game within the game, you know, that's what makes it more fun, I think. You see progress in both areas, technique and strength. <laughs> anyway. We'll leave it at that. If you want the cool kettlebells on it, dot com slash Jocko or jump ropes, battle maces. The way, do you call them battle maces or just maces? I just call them maces. Yeah. Those are kind of clubs. Cool. Yeah. Though you can get some cool workouts with that. And they do like your forearms get, I, I, I didn't look into like what exactly, you know, they're gonna improve, but I know core strength and all this stuff, but there's all these little things they improve too. Outstanding stuff. Also, good way to support. If you're gonna get this book, men at how do you how do you pronounce the, the place? Arnhem. Arnhem, Arnhem yep. or Arnhem. Arnhem? Yep, Arnhem. Okay, men at Arnhem. Jeffrey Powell. That's how I good pronounce one. it anyways. I'm apologize to anyone that's from Holland. Yeah. And pronounces it a different way. I looked at it on YouTube and how they said it and it was like they say, oh, how to pronounce Arnim, and there's 14 different ways to say it. Yeah, so yeah. I just rolled the dice and picked one that sounded easiest for me to say. So sorry if uh, I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, man. No, all good. Um, but if you want to get that book or any other uh, book that Jocko reviews on the website, just go to jockopodcast.com. On the top menu there, click on books from episodes. All the books are listed there by episode, along with a few other things, but mainly just the books uh, for, by episode. You click through there, boom, takes you to Amazon. Get those books there. That's a good way to support. That's the Amazon click through. Or if you do any other shopping, if you're getting a tripod or a video camera <laughs> or duct tape or whatever, 
click through there, boom, that's a good way to support. Great way to support. Also, a little addition there. You know how we had the uh, website jockopodcast2.com? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a, there's a long story. I think I went into it. It was like when I was like testing like mm-hmm. what website provider, whatever. I was like, let me get this one because what if I'm attached to it? It's a long story. And then, so we ended up getting jockopodcast.com and they're both kind of there. But jockopodcast2 is kind of the, the, the primary one. Mm-hmm. It's not the primary one anymore. Jocko Podcast. It's jockopodcast.com. Okay. Cool. So that's, that's the good. website. And that was actually a trooper that straight up got us Jocko Podcast. Yeah. Looking out for yeah. us. And then that's a big deal. We saw him in New York. Good dude. Yeah. That's a huge deal because, um, like, do you have your own name? Yeah. Okay. So people will be like, oh, this guy's blowing up. He'll, they'll go and they'll buy the domain name, either hold on to it or immediately go to you and be like, hey, you want to buy this for me? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, they'd hold it hostage. Yeah. In fact, I think there might be like a legal like defense against it. Like if someone gets your name or your your kid's name mm-hmm. and you're kind of a public figure. So I mm. think I'm not sure. But yeah, that's what people do, man. Yeah. They'll or they'll buy a bunch of domain names that sound cool and yeah. they'll be like, Yeah, you can buy this from me kind of thing. It's it's super whack when they do it with like your own you know, when they know like that's you, you, your company you, or the your UFC name. had for a long time. They, I don't know what they paid for, eventually paid for UFC.com, but for a long time they were like UFC.tv and all these yeah, other UFC, yeah. but all finally the they had to step up. I bet you they, I bet somebody made a lot of money off that one. Yeah, UFC, especially the three letters. I yeah. guess like if you get the like, less letters, the, less the more letters. money. Crazy town. Nonetheless, but yeah, jockopodcast.com. That's the main website now. If you were going to jockopodcast2.com, it's it's not that anymore. Does Jocko it send Podcast. you though over? Uh, it it does did but well, while i'm switching i'm doing this thing it will eventually it will eventually yes right now, but if but you run into that that's why Got people it. have been hitting me up and rightly so thanks for that um so yeah nonetheless back to the point if you want to support uh, by getting these books go through the website and click through there it's a good way to support small action huge reaction small huge that's how it works <laughs> also subscribe to the podcast iTunes, if you haven't already. Stitcher, if you don't use iOS, iPhone. Google Play, any anywhere they where they provide uh, podcasts, boom, we're on there. So subscribe, that's a good way. Also, YouTube. Yes, I put some excerpts on there. More excerpts. I'm going to continue to do so. Shareable excerpts. Try to keep them under four minutes. That's cool, right? Four? Yeah. Might be a little long, but... I, every once in a while, you get it like a good like ten minute one though. For That's sure. the thing. Yeah, but they're more shit, better than two That's hours. That's a long time three. though. Yeah. Think about the videos that you you want to get compression three yeah. minutes, four minutes tops. Yeah, and it depends on the. Do you, you should edit them maybe, mm. like make them shorter. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's appropriate, because sometimes you don't want to. Sometimes it's just you saying like a whole thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, that's solid. And sometimes it's you and then my rebuttal to kind of kind of bolster the point, your point, because mm-hmm. you'll clarify it because I, you know, and it's all, it's it, it makes sense. So sometimes if you edit certain things out, maybe the message isn't there Check. as much as maybe Understood. it should be. Not all the time, not all the time, but most of the time. Nonetheless, I'll look into it. How about that? <laughs> Ideally, if a video, and this goes along with like people's typical like, attention span it should be what like about a minute and a half i don't know but my attention span's getting tested right now <laughs> <laughs> by support just saying we th- this is important stuff we need to go over this so we can come to the best um conclusion on how to conduct ourselves in regards to youtube excerpts and other things Nonetheless, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's good. We're going to uh, provide value. How about that? No. Also, <laughs> if you're into the video version, because some people are. Some people are into more the video version of the podcast. Yeah. You know, boom, subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube. Also, Jocko has a store. It's called Jocko Store. JockoStore.com, if you didn't already know. Um, on there, we got some cool stuff. Shirts, mainly some rash guards. I just made an order for hoodies, thicker, heavier. Fall is coming. Are we in fall right now? The fall was the first yeah, day of fall was yeah, like the other day. Yeah. We are in fall. Yeah, so we got some not that we're doing a whole seasonal thing. I'm just saying it's fall now, getting cool getting cooler. 
Check. Got some hoodies on there. Got some shirts on there. Got some rash guards on there. I think I'm going to do a warrior kid rash guard. Mm -hmm. I have one. Yeah, I know. I saw that. But it's not. In production yet. Yeah, and it's not. I'm going to change it a little bit, some coloring stuff and whatever. But it is pretty cool. Good good little pre-response. Um, also, hats on there and some other cool stuff. I'm not saying get something. I'm saying go on there. Check it out. If you want to support and you want to get something, you think something is cool for yourself or for your, you know, friend, wife, girlfriend, neighbor, whoever. And get something good way to support actually great way to support also psychological warfare okay what psychological warfare is if you don't know it's an album with jocko tracks <laughs> so basically if you're on your campaign against weakness and you have a moment of weakness this is like a little spot so basically you put on these audio tracks to let you know hey pragmatically don't skip this workout today Hey, don't slip on this diet today. Hey, your procrastination isn't working, and here's why. But it's Jocko telling you, so it's kind of like more effective, way more effective. 100% success rate in my experience, 100%. That's legit. Uh, Hey, also, Jocko White Tea, if you want it, you can get that on Amazon. It tastes good, and it makes you feel good. Also, on originmain.com, you can get... Jocko Super Krill, Krill Oil, that will make you feel good. Yep. And on top of that, you can get Jocko Joint Warfare, which is awesome. What's in that, by the way? It's glucosamine, chondroitin, okay, those okay, are the, yeah. the, main, the main, but then we put some additional things in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and it's, it's been rocking. It, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. You've got books, or I've got some books, if you want to read them. One is called Way of the Warrior Kid. One is called Extreme Ownership. The Warrior Kid book is for kids. Extreme Ownership is for people in leadership positions or people that want to be in leadership positions. There's also a new book coming out called Discipline Equals Freedom Field Manual. It actually comes out October 17th. And at one point, many months ago, October 17th seemed like it was a long ways away, but it's not anymore. Mm. It's here. So you can order that one. It is unlike any book that you have ever seen or read. Also, what's interesting about this book is people keep asking me if it's going to be on Audible. It is not going to be on Audible. Hmm. Instead of being on Audible, it is going to be on iTunes. It's going to be on Amazon MP3. It's going to be on Google Play. It's going to be where you can find MP3 tracks. There's a reason for this. If you do it through Audible, you get this one big, long book. And it's and what the book is the way the book is written. It's written to be chunked up, and you're gonna want to take parts of it and play it at certain times, more like you would do with the psychological warfare album. So people are asking for more psychological warfare. That's what we're doing. Discipline equals freedom. Field manual. It's gonna be available as an album that you can buy, and then you can do what you want with the tracks. You can make them your alarm ringtone. You can listen to them out of order, in any order. You can put them in a mix. You can do a lot more stuff with them. That's why we're doing it as an album with tracks instead of as an audible book. So, you know what, we might, you know, people might have a little challenge finding it or realizing, you know, when they go onto Amazon or they go onto Barnes and Noble, they won't see that it's available. They'll be looking for the audible and you won't be able to find it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, just in audible, I think that's where they won't necessarily You won't find be able to it. find it in but, the audible platform. Right. It will right. not be there. But it'll be on Amazon. Just it'll like, be on Amazon, yeah. but you, I don't think it'll be linked in right. to the same thing where you go, oh, here it is. I yeah, think it's going to yeah, be hidden. It's, it's going to be hard to find. Kind of like it's hard to find on iTunes. It's hard to find psychological warfare. But yeah. the question is, do you want to do, oh, did I want to do something right or just do something easy? Yeah, that's true. Because the the field manual, like any field manual, like when you want to go refer to it, you don't want to be searching yeah, around, especially in an audio book. Yeah, you, you know, you can be like, okay, what is that one part you know that deals with this? And you, boom, you can just go to the yeah. That you just part. look for yeah. the track name and Makes you're there. Sense. So, uh, like I said, it, we could have done the easy thing and and whatever, you know, had everyone just being able to click on it real easy. I'm, I apologize, but if you want the right way, then that's what I had to do. So that's that book, and then. Echelon Front, that's the leadership consulting company that I have with Leif Babin, with J.P. Dinell, Dave Burke. If you want to have us come and work with your business, 
contact info at echelonfront.com and if you have any questions or if you have any answers or if you just want to continue this conversation you can find us on the interwebs on Twitter on Instagram and on the Facebooky. Echo is at Echo Charles and I am at Jocko Willink